Hello, boys and girls in video land. It's Lou Barton with Lou's Reviews. Every Tuesday at 2 p.m., we review new tools and apps and resources and really cool shortcuts. Sometimes they're straight off reviews, sometimes they're how to's. And today I have something really special for you because I'm going to show you how you can create a book, an illustrated book, to sell on Amazon or Kindle. Um, for very little money and very little effort, even if you don't know how to do any illustrations. And I'll tell you how this came about. I created a book called F You Pay Me. It's the adventures of a guy just trying to get paid and it's all illustrated. And um, I did the, obviously I did the writing myself. I did the, uh, I didn't do the illustrations, but I'll show you how I got them in the backgrounds and put this all together and now it sells uh, it's a fun little gift for entrepreneurs and small business owners and freelancers for folks who have ever been stiffed or not paid or undercharged so it's just a, a funny little novelty book and i created it by myself without a publisher without any fancy graphics uh, software and like that. I'll tell you exactly how I did it right now. Well, first of all, the first tool I used, and I'm going to share my screen here, was bum, ba, da, bum, uh, Canva at canva.com. And they have a free version of Canva at canva.com. And um, as you can see, this is for a different presentation that I just created using the same character and the same backgrounds. So the first thing I did for this lovely little illustrated novelty book uh, called F You Pay Me, this one's a different presentation, was I got the backgrounds. Well, first I wrote it um, and then I got the backgrounds and the character. So it's easy to make um, books look fun and playful when you use the right fonts. In this case, I used a font called Marker Monkey that's here in Canva and I also used a font called Chewy that is in Canva but again there are so many different fonts in Canva and you can upload your own that you could create your own uh, fun book with fun text and um, the type uh, the font here goes a very long way in making it look like a fun illustrated um, kind of a kids book feel uh, but it's definitely playful. So again, I used Marker Monkey and Chewy, uh, but there are tons and tons of fonts that you can use. Then what I did was um, once I actually wrote the copy and had that kind of on a notebook before I put it in here, I just went to deposit photos where I had, um, I think I had like a hundred photos for a hundred dollars kind of deal. Um, now it depends on when you buy it. Sometimes they have specials at deposit photos. I'm sure there are other sites like free sites like Pixabay you may be able to use. But because I needed something very specific, I went to deposit photos and I looked for cartoon characters. Hi Rocco, you want to come in? Hang on. Rocco's here. We'll, we'll show you. Uh, Rocco will come on screen in a little bit. So once you find a character that you like or a caricature, you can go and find similar images, but better yet, you can go to that photo and find the artist and then pull up all the, uh, this is the character I used, pull up all the photos that that artist creates. So you can see, again, if you have um, a character that's in a, a lot of different poses like this, you have a lot of flexibility. So I downloaded all these, I'll show you how I separated them and extracted them. But if you want a different character, you really just have to go to that um, artist and find out who created that and then pull up all the uh, images by that artist. In this case, it's called Art Not, Arty Not. So I pull up that um, artist and now I have tons of different characters that have the same look and feel from that artist. So if I wanted this um, redhead woman, I would just download a bunch of these different ones. So I'd have all different poses, uh, her with signs, 
if I wanted this old guy with the glasses, this professor dude, I could um, download a bunch of those. And again, Deposit Photos has really good deals once in a while. So wait until they have a, you know, 100 photos for $100 or 100 downloads for $50 or something like that, which I got on AppSumo once. Um, let's say you're doing a video or a, a fun and frivolous book about construction. Maybe you take the construction lady. And again, there are tons of different poses. So if you go here and you download that, then you can extrapolate those characters to use in your story. So that's the character. That's how you find the character. Find a character style you like and then find the artist and go to the artist page and that way you can get a, a ton of different um, poses and styles and scenarios with that particular character. So here's our character on uh, devices, here's our character shopping, here's our character just in different poses if we're using this one. And once you download that, download the vector, um, you'll have, you know what, a ton of little characters here, 12 just in this one photo. So, if we did that, now I've already downloaded my character. Um, once you do that, I'll download one as an example here. Um, I'm just going to take a sample and I'm not going to use this because I'm not buying it. But I'm just using it for, for demonstration purposes. And if I take that and copy it, just call it sample. So let's say you have downloaded this legit. Um, now what you're going to do is you're going to go to remove.bg, remove background. That is a free site. Hang on a second. We'll pause the recording until we get there. So go to remove background, remove.bg. This is so easy and it's free, so it's awesome. And then go to where it says select a photo. Now we just downloaded this um, from Deposit Photos with the different characters in it. There's a whole bunch of characters. Um, and as you can see, now again, you, you have to buy this if you're actually going to use it, but just for demonstration purposes. As you can see, it's now knocked out the white background. So these are all transparent characters. So if I download that, I'm now going to have that character as a transparent character that I can then use in Canva. So once I select the characters that I want and I make them all, um, you know, basically I could edit them if I wanted and just pick one or something like that or crop it. But once I do that, I could actually even put them on different backgrounds straight away within uh, remove.bg, but I don't want to do that because there's 12 of them. So let's stop that for a second. We've got our characters. We've made the backgrounds transparent and remove background. And now we go back to Canva and upload those characters. So in my case here, I've got my two thug guys that I could pull in here and add them or resize them. Or uh, in my case, this is my character. So I have this character in a lot of different um, scenarios here. He's really sad. Again, I can change the size in Canva. So all I did was I, I uploaded it to Canva and then I dragged it onto my canvas to start to create the scene. Now, one other thing that I didn't mention that is really important is you have to have your backgrounds. You could just have a blank color background, I suppose. The great thing about Canva is if you click this copy page, it'll give you another copy. So I could theoretically change the background of this page to a solid color or just about anything else like that. See how I just changed that? Or I could change it to a solid color or a scene, a landscape, um, pretty much anything. So. But again, what we want to do is we want to use our cartoon backgrounds, which we have not sourced and uploaded yet. But once you do that, you can see how easy it is to move stuff around and move the text and change the background. And maybe we want him on a beach. But I like to use the illustrated backgrounds like this. So again, I went to Deposit Photos and I found a style that I liked and I just downloaded a bunch of those plain empty backgrounds and I'll show you that in just a second. 
So we have our character, we have our fonts in Canva, we're going to put our backgrounds in Canva, we've got our text, and uh, you can go from there and basically create your entire story or a PowerPoint presentation or book or Kindle just like this. So let me just show you one last thing in Deposit Photos. So if I go back to Deposit Photos and do a search for cartoon backgrounds, I can see things like this or this. You know, I like the blank ones because, again, I'm going to drop my characters and my text over it. Um, and again, if you find a particular style that you like, let's say you like this style, you can find similar images. But more importantly, you can find who the artist is. So if you look at that particular photo, um, it may tell you who the artist is and you want to go and find the artist so that you can get all of the photos that are in that style. So if you just do a plain old search for cartoon backgrounds, you're going to have a lot of stuff. But if you find a background that you like and you get similar images or you um, find the artist who did that, then you'll be in much better shape. In fact, you can see some of the backgrounds that I used in my um, story, in my F.U. Pay Me book. So um, you can start collections. So you can see here, here's a whole collection of these um, that you can use. So you've got beach backgrounds and funny cartoony backgrounds and hills and meadows and mountains. So this was perfect for what I wanted to do because it just kept it very playful and frivolous. So I downloaded a bunch of those backgrounds and once again we go back to good old Canva and that's where we imported, uh, uploaded I should say, those backgrounds. And once I had them uploaded, I could just drag them over to the area here. Let's say maybe I want it to be in front of the Coliseum. I just bring it over here like that and there it is. Now again, this doesn't pop very well off that color, but you can change the colors up here. You can change the size. You can obviously space them out wherever you want. So the idea is you can put pretty much any background you want there. Cartoony background, uh, photo background, whatever you may be working with. Um, so the sky's the limit and uh, there's no there's no limits except your imagination. Is that what they say? The only limit is your imagination. So now I've got this guy in a room. And again, you can move it around, you can resize it. So again, you build your story, you build your backgrounds and illustrations, you bring your character into it. Uh, I know these guys wouldn't fit, but you know, if you want to decide to have a visit by the game, game of Thrones cap crew, I took this photo and just did remove .bg, remove background to get the um, backgrounds out of it. But now we're just fooling around. And then you uh, put in your text and choose a nice, fun, playful font. Put it all in Canva. And then once you've got your entire presentation here, your entire story, like this, uh, you can download it as a PDF or you can download it as separate images if you decide to do that. But PDF is good because then you've got a nice PDF file that you can upload right to Amazon. There's a little bit of reformatting that has to happen to get it on Amazon. But ultimately, ultimately, you end up with a book on Amazon.com. So easy, just like that. So um, again, you, you got to set the size and that before, but you have a lot of flexibility to do that. So uh, once you have that book, that illustrated book, you can upload and sell it on Amazon, just like that, or Kindle or pretty much anywhere really. But right now I have a few pay me on Amazon. So that's how I created that book on Canva and using deposit photos backgrounds and deposit photos characters. So it was once I had all the backgrounds and all the characters and I had my story, obviously, the rest was pretty simple. 
So that's it. That's how you can use Canva and deposit photos to create your own illustrated fun book for use um, in your business, to sell on your website, to sell on Etsy or to sell on Amazon. One other thing is if you're having trouble with the font popping off the background, for any of these pictures in Canva, you can adjust the blur. So if you blur it a little bit, obviously the text shows up more. If you don't blur it, it's a little bit harder to read. So that's why in this case, I just did a little blur on the background so the text would pop. So there's a lot of things you can do with it once it's in Canva. Resize these, change the color, change the font. Um, so again, you're only limited by, by your imagination. So uh, go forth and create a lovely new book or PowerPoint presentation for yourself like this one. And I hope that helps. This has been Lou's Reviews. We'll be back next Tuesday at 2 with another cool demo or review. Bye for now.